Gliding through Sydney Heads, the sleek white liner Gothic brings Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh to the threshold of Australia. Thousands line the grey cliffs bathed in hot sunshine. From the bridge of the liner, the Queen looks down upon a scene of welcome more spectacular and perhaps more excited than any that has greeted her throughout her long journey across the world. Thousands of naval vessels, yachts, steamers, dinghies and speedboats escort the Gothic. Sydney Harbour Bridge, the largest of its kind in the world, is ahead. A fitting gateway to this great continent that is welcoming a reigning sovereign for the first time to its shores. The Queen, who wears a white organza patterned gold and cream dress, is saluted by Boson's pipes as she leaves Gothic to journey ashore by launch. Hundreds of yachts and launches line the two-mile route along which the royal couple make their way to the landing stage at Farm Cove. Thousands of flags and pennants flutter in the stiff northwesterly breeze, forming a dazzling, colourful avenue of welcome. Arriving at the landing stage, Her Majesty is welcomed to Australia by Sir William Slim, the Governor-General, the Governor of New South Wales and the Prime Minister, Mr Menzies. Now in an open car, the Queen and her husband prepare to make a nine mile long drive through the streets of Sydney. About half of the three million people who cheer the royal couple slept on the pavements all night for a glimpse of this historic scene. The royal car moves at about 10 miles an hour, for if it were to travel more slowly, the engine would overheat, so great is the temperature in the city. Finally, Her Majesty and Prince Philip arrive at Government House. The royal tour of the Great Dominion of Australia begins in triumph.